Hello and what is up everybody? Cliff B here once again playing some more Minecraft Hardcore X Alpha North Zone World 4 Day 5 Now this is either where I survive to another day or I get fucking wrecked because my history with Day 5s have never been the best I think in today's episode Today's episode. Wow, this is um, me back to when I used to be recording. I think on today's stream, what I'm going to do is go ahead and focus in on um, one, putting a roof on this place. Because that would be nice. Although, should I start giving a damn about the villagers? I mean, at this point here, right? At this point. Like. I could just make like a uniform house that all the villagers live in. Barrier that place up so they can't exactly escape. Alright, uh, cows, meat, mates, just mates, just mate, mate, okay? I'm gonna have to start slaughtering you guys soon. But I wait until it gets so bad that I can't even get out the thing. Then I'll slaughter you guys soon. Because, like, you know, the villagers, they exist, but I've already had to slaughter, like, two of them. So they are turning into zombies, you know. And that's suddenly being a problem here. Because if the villagers are zombies, then I don't get, like, um... Oh, that's why this way. No, this world was like this already. Then I'm not gonna have villagers, and then when I finally want to trade them for you know armors and weapons, they're gonna be dead. So I think what I want to do is what is up? Flock the bird cages. You know how old. That's a statement and a half. Flock. That's a statement and a half there. But yeah. Basically, I already know one villager. Well, I already know three of the villagers are going to be like a um, toolsmith, weaponsmith, and armor. Which I believe is a smithing table, blast furnace, and a grindstone. And then the other villagers are going to be librarians. So I might as well get them all into one house and start that project up. Which is going to be annoying because I think I'm losing my villagers left, right, and center because I see that one. But I don't see any others. Oh, there's one. There's also, like, giant holes in the ground. There's, like, houses that are missing. Most of these guys are, like... Yeah, I need to get all these villagers into one house. What is up, Godspeed? Hello, and welcome to stream. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do here. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and accommodate all the villagers that are currently left into one bloody house, right? Because if I get them all in one house, then I can control them better. Right? Yeah, that makes logical sense. They follow potatoes when you throw them at them. They don't really follow potatoes. Like, you can't lead a villager. You can use potatoes to breed them, yes, but you can't, like, lead them with anything. Uh, what do I need? Lappies. You know, it's going to be amazing when a day comes where people are like, Can I get anything besides on... Oh, that was three levels straight down the train. We're just unbreaking. So they pick up the potato soup, um, breed. They follow the, like a bed trail. Hmm. We'll see. But as of right now, I need there to only be like one house in this village. So I'm going to get rid of any house that I don't want the villagers to have. Okay, no green particles. What the fuck? Oh, they're trying to breed right now. That's what that was about. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of any, like, um, 
else that I don't want. I really wish this damn had an axe at efficiency. Use three fucking levels and all I got was unbreaking. That'd be nice. That would have been nice. Uh, what is this? Cartographer table? That can go. Don't need it. Yeah, I know. I could put them in boats, or I can put them in a rail, which would be better, but I don't want to waste my metals on a rail. I mean, my iron on a rail, so more likely it'll just be a boat. But that's going to be very hard to do with the villagers having up, down, left, right. You know, all that stuff. Yeah, but I'm not worried about that. I got the cow farm. I got the shit cane farm. I'll have my bookshelf eventually. Or I could just make a librarian who will sell me the bookshelves. But the problem is, if a librarian sells me the bookshelf, I would have to zombify them and heal them first. And I only got like one golden apple. And. Dang. Alright, how do you make a potion of weak. I mean, yeah, weakness again? It's like just a fermented spider eye and an aqua potion, right? I mean, it's just a fermented spider eye. I don't need an aqua potion for that, right? Because if I don't need the, um... Oh, yeah, the farmers should breed on their own if there's a carrot or potato fields. Yep. And the farms all around here are potato farms. Just fermented. Okay, so I can make potions of weakness and start, like, de-zombifying villagers and whatnot. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is like make a librarian villager, trade with them once to lock their trade, put them in a boat, and then have them just sit in the middle of a field. Because there's no iron golems here, luckily, so there's no like, you know, iron golem to basically annihilate the ass. And they need bread, not wheat. They'll also take um, beets. You can use beets, carrots, un um, uncooked potatoes, and wheat, surprisingly. I mean, bread. Um, uh, farmer villagers can give golden apples. Yeah, you're right about that. Alright, I'm just getting rid of any house that I don't want anymore. Be right back, gotta go. Oh, okay. Godspeed, that's a... That is a statement and a half there. That's a statement. But yeah, like, I know everything I need to breed them. And I know, like, if you max out a farmer villager, they will give you, like, um, golden apples. Which made me... Do I zombify a farmer? Because if I zombify a farmer and they give me good deals... Oh, no, it's... Uh, fuck, I forgot. This is 1.16.2. So before, you know, the villagers gave you permanent deals because, you know, they was grateful for life. But now... The deals will eventually, um, go away. Even if you save the villagers. Which is kind of bullshit, you ungrateful asshole. Like, I saved you from the wrath of being a zombie and burning in the daylight and getting fucked over by your own iron golem that you yourself wanted. And then you decide to, like, you know... You decide to, like, not give me deals for life anymore. Like, how dare you recover from the psychological drama of being turned into a zombie? Dang it. I don't approve of that. Also, luckily, since the house is mostly spruce wood, all this spruce wood I'm picking up is going to be used for the roof of the house. So, um, I checked with a few other streamers, and it seems like Twitch, when you're not a, um, a partner, takes about a week to approve emotes. As long as you buy and sell it, and you should stay, you now sell your crops for a couple of carrots and apples. Oh, they nerf, um, actually, they haven't nerfed it yet, but I know they're gonna get rid of, like, um, saturation. So you know how the hunger always had like the hidden stat saturation? Apparently there's like testing out some combat updates where there's no more saturation bar. It's just straight up like, you know, this is how much hunger they do and hunger gets depleted when an action that causes it to deplete is triggered, such as taking damage. Like your hunger will only go down if you need to recover health. That Mojang's apparently uh, think about implementing. Alright, well that's one house down. 
And I don't want them on the hill. I think I'm gonna move them to that lake over there where that tree's at. So I'm just gonna make like a house for them there that they can all just live in. So it won't go down due to running. Supposedly that's what they're testing, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, they're gonna be adding a few good things. I know there's gonna be a new axe achievement called Cleaving. That goes straight through like a shield. Dinner. Be right back. Okay. Me when I... Godspeed, that's a hell of a meme there, I guess. That's just a hell of a meme, and thank you for looking, Flock. And then immediately coming back, even though he was lurking. I mean, me personally, I already ate my dinner, which was just fast food. Which... Okay, like... While Burger King's doing some scummy shit right now. You know, I had some Burger King, because ultimately, it's still good food. Even though I really wish that, like, you know... When you order Burger King through an app... Then I'll wait until your driver gets there to cook it, and that your food wouldn't just cool down, like, immediately. So you always have to, like, microwave that shit when you finally get it. But other than that, like... Cardboard straws. Like, have you guys had that yet? Where you have to, you know, they give you a drink and they give you a cardboard or a paper straw? Like, I know it's a cut down on, like, plastic use, and it's, um... Compulsive, I mean, biodegradable, meaning it will just, like, turn into, I think, plant food after a certain amount of time. It's a good meme. This. Kissing before marriage? Oh my gosh, Godspeed. How can you allow that? Like, you know what? How long until religion goes the way of the dodo bark? Okay. How long until that happens? I'm not saying I have anything against it. I'm just saying it's one of those things I don't see surviving for any longer. Because if there's anything that would be flip-floppy a lot is religion, you know? It goes from like, oh my gosh, being a trans is bad, to like, God accept trans. It's like... The Holy Order forbids. I wonder, is the door glitch still here? Yes. Uh, all these years, and that door glitch has never been fixed. Oh, this trick in the book. I'm surprised with how much, like, Jeb hates fun that he didn't get rid of the door glitch. Because, let's be honest, like, every update that comes to Minecraft is this Jeb, like, does not understand what this game is about and try to make it harder and harder. It's like, Jeb, calm the fuck down, okay? The net is unlivable right now. I mean, yes, you added cool shit and whatnot. But holy fuck, those Prindling Boots are unnecessary. The damn Hoglins can go suck a dick. Because the Hoglins are just naturally spawning Ravagers that don't cover the raid, that's all. Like, how much longer until he just makes it to like, Oh yeah, the Ravagers, you know, can just spawn naturally in the world. That's just a thing. GG, have fun. Uh, what? I mean, I'm not sure why you, you are attracted to something that looks like that, Godspeed. Okay. I mean, to each their own, no cake shaming, no judging here, but still. You do you. You do you. So I gotta get rid of that fucking portal. Alright. That's out of here. I'm gonna have to take down these icy glues, unfortunately. Hmm? Uh, what? I'm for this. Alright, Godspeed. You, you battle those demons. You can do it. You can do it. I trust you maybe kind of sort of, maybe not really. But you do you. 
Alright. I'll knock that on this one here. Just gonna take show them. And yeah, I'm probably gonna use those lanterns for something, I don't know what. What does looting on an axe does? Plus three nobody order. Oda. Huh? Oh. 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 I get the joke. I mean, hmm. Um, five out of ten, Godspeed. Five out of ten. I get what you was going for, but five out of ten. Alright. This can all can go bye-bye. Be right back. I have to consume my daily substance for energy for the rest of my day. Alright. This can go, this can go, this can go. Alright, that's another house gone. I mean, luckily when I bust up these places, I don't get anything from it. Dinner for late person, yes. I know what a substance, what you meant by substance. Alright, all of this can go bye bye. The portal is gonna have to just go really far out. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do for the portal is like put it out in the distance and just make like a elevated rail track for it. Take this out, take this out. Actually, I want this, so I'll take that. And, yeah, that torch can stay so that doesn't become a mob spawning area. Alright, if I just take the beds out, they won't go in these places anymore. And put a torch here so nothing spawns here. Oh, I didn't even know this carpet. I mean, the floor is made out of wool. Oh shit, getting night time. This guy's like, huh? Oh, where's my bed, man? Where's my bed? My bed was supposed to be here. They're all just looking for their beds. Like, where's the beds? Where are the damn beds? And it's like, haha, you fool. The beds are gone. Damn it. You know what I find weirdly funny, right? So if you sleep every night, mobs will not spawn. Meaning that mobs only spawn when you're awake. And specifically only around you. So does that just mean you're delusional? Or that like somehow your imagination is so vivid that you're able to create physical monsters that can come into reality? And that the reason why they spawn at nighttime is just because of how long you've been awake? What is up? Nobody? Welcome. Uh, wait. I'm saying welcome to the stream. You are literally the, um... Oh, right, yeah. I have MoveBot set up to, like, just automatically spam the YouTube link and chat every, I believe, 15 minutes? Or no, 10, no, 20 minutes. Alright. So I was like, wait, why is the YouTube link up? Then I realized, oh, yeah, timer. I set that up. You set that up, dumbass. You you set that up. Did you did you forget, you dumbass? I'm like, damn it. I did forget. How could this happen to me? All right. I need a new axe. But I'm just saying, like when you think about it, right? There is no hostile creature until you come into existence, which means. You have to be the one making the hostile creatures. So I wonder if that's just like a part of the lore factor is like the whole entire like 
the creatures are a figment of your imagination, and once you start getting sleepy, aka at nighttime, that's when they start to exist, or when everything starts to go dark. I'm gonna so eat and I find these minerals of water, salt, and crackers. Awesome. Alright, can I get an efficiency? I don't care about unbreaking, but can I get efficiency? Alright, I'm gonna put an axe in here. What do you got? Ooh, efficiency two for three. Mm, damn it. That's gonna really make this really go fast. There's no coke. Alright. There we go. There we go. Just a fish of C3. I couldn't even get on breaking on it. Oh shit. Should not have jumped down the stairs like that. Oh, that's gonna run. Take away some from the hungers. Oh shit, I should be getting these cows breeding. Note to self, make sure the cows are always fucking every chance that I get. Okay. New at that place. Take away the doors, take away that. The stairs can go. Oh, that efficiency is so good. And I'm taking this lantern here. You know what? Just like bustle hold the roof there. Taking that. I like you. You're coming with me. This, this, and you. I really don't need the furnace. Oh, these places are filled with carpets, so that's going to help me when I start to make the beds. Alright, so how am I doing? Do I want to get rid of that portal before I completely destroy my diamond pickaxe and have to make another one? Yeah, let me get rid of this. The brightening enhancement of, like, OBS is just amazing. How you're able to see so much more details in this obsidian than I can on a male mantra, which is slightly dark. So we get rid of this before, you know, I completely use up this pickaxe. So guys, welcome to the Mining Obsidian stream. So is this a 24 hour stream of just mining obsidian with an unenchanted diamond pickaxe? It's absolutely thralling. You know, the last time something happened like this on Twitch, it nearly broke the damn server. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm hoping I'll get some of that success here. So right now, just continuously holding down the left click while staring at the obsidian in order to continuously mine it down. I know it's such exciting shit, but hold your containment. Just hold your goddamn containment, people. For fuck's sake. Gosh darn it. Sorry, I started losing it there. This is just so exciting. I mean, look, even this villager has come to, like, you know, mire this amazing obsidian mining right here. He's never seen anything like this. He doesn't even understand what is going on here. But he loves it. He loves every fucking second of it. Or she, we don't judge here. Honestly, what the fuck are the genders of these damn villagers? The baby pops out of their heads when you think about it. And that's the end of that. Please rate 5 out of 5 stars. Thank you. Alright. Now that's done. If God love me, why he no give me big tea? And it cost me for fuck's sake. <laughs> I heard that as soon as I still got a swig of my fucking power aim. <gasps> Damn it. Oh my gosh. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. Nearly choked to death. Damn it. I know. Two. Damn it, nobody. Alright, all these houses need to go. Okay. You villagers will have one communal household. One communal household. Yes, c household. And you will fucking love it, damn it. 
It's gonna look like shit because I don't give a fuck. You're not gonna have any windows. I may may not put a torch down. It depends on how I'm feeling that day. And basically all you're gonna do in there is just breathe continuously. That's it. Just endless breathing, okay? Come on. Why is these things so difficult to tear apart, you know? Like Mojang or Jeff, can you make it villagers easier to disassemble when you need to disassemble them to control, like, you know, where they live? Thank you. Fuck it, I'll take this diorite as well. Alright. And... Yeah. That should be every major structure. Except for that one there, but I think I'm just gonna burn that one down. Because truth be told, this is kind of a pain in the ass to, to carefully disassemble every last one of these things. So yeah, there's that. And Twitch took away all my viewers. Once again, guys, if you're lurking, you have to mute the tab, not the um, actual video. Alright, so let's build that shit here, I guess. Do I have enough diorite? Right? Hmm? Okay, why is there a YouTube link? Of all these villagers is like, well, where's the fucking beds? We're supposed to do here. There's no beds. There's no safe housing whatsoever. Oh, shit. I totally forgot about this place. See, that would have been bad. They would have had choices, people. We can't allow that shit. Villagers having choices about where they get to sleep? Nah. sure how I feel about that one. Alright. Actually, while I'm at it, let me go ahead and grab this one as well. Put this through here. I have that polish. I'm not sure how a grindstone is polishing. Must be a sanding grindstone. So, nobody probably should bring this up because, well, Alan Filthy is part of the stream crew here. So, Alan has been doing a course about, like, how to be a moderator. Like a moderator for any type of platform content. I would consider that I open the link and it's none of those. It's just a meme. Alright, it's a meme. But anyway, yeah. So if you guys don't know, Alan50 Live does a lot of shit for the community as well as off the Twitch. And he just, um, well, he's trying to make a um, course on Udemy for how to be a moderator on basically anywhere where there's live content and you have to moderate live. I'm just bringing this up because I have been given an invite to it, and nobody would you be interested in that or nah. I mean, if you guys are interested in that, maybe you want to be a moderator. I'm just letting you know, like, hey, it's a thing. 
Alright, how big do I need to make this facility? Alright, this big should work. There's really... I don't need beds on the bottom floors, right? In fact, they don't need to be this big. I'm making it too big now that I think about it. Seven sounds good. Oops. Um, let's not do that, shall we? It's basically, I'd be lazy. And the reason why I'm using whole blocks instead of, I mean whole blocks instead of slabs is because villagers, as long as pretty much every other entity in Minecraft don't know what the fuck to do when they're walking on slabs, their mind can't comprehend them. So that's why I'm just making this out of slabs, I mean out of whole blocks, even though it takes more materials. I'm gonna need more diorites if I wanna make this look a certain way. Alright, what am I doing? Middle mouse click. As long as I have the block, I can just middle mouse click and get replacement blocks. And over here can be the entrance. Make this a double door, just to make life easier. There you go. Right there. What if we held hands on we menu? What? Huh? Guys, be you pull some questionable stuff, like some very questionable stuff. I mean, you can't piss off Automata anymore because, well, VIP, but very questionable stuff. Did this. That and then put it in fence. Right click it, grab the one I can actually make. And there we go. Hmm? Okay. Have you ever seen a Tinder we on the me, you can have dual senses so that I mean, able to hold hands. I mean, I've had a Nintendo Wii, but I pretty much just had it for like you know Mario Sunshine, and that's about it. All right. So, do I have enough to get people in here? Oh shit, can boats go upstairs? Hold on, 
Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of these doors real quick. Get rid of the doors. I think I have to double up the fences. So. Uh, nope, not like that. Should these villagers be allowed to have any form of daylights or nah, no lights? Because honestly, I don't think they deserve lights of any types here. And I honestly kind of just don't want to put it in. Like, do villagers deserve the right to have access to, like, sunlight and fresh air? You know, that's a question that we must ask ourselves. And it's a very important question. What do you guys think? Weigh in on your opinions about the villagers having access to fresh sunlight. I mean, light and fresh air. Did someone go and make a poll? <laughs> of course. Actually, now that I see it, I kind of want to break this wall through. Break that wall through. Extend this out. And actually, I have them up both sides. Yay. this. Put that there instead. Alright. And you can actually go. There you go. Out of oak planks? I mean, spruce? Damn it. Yes. Damn it, you guys! I thought y'all would be on my side. Apparently not. Apparently, you're on the villager's side. And you believe that they should have, like, fresh air. And access to clean water. And, like, what else? A bed? A flipping bed, guys? Really? Gosh. When you think you know a person... Fine. May as well do. Alright. Sleep here. Ouch. Pick that up. I mean, these villagers are now just staying away for all eternity, just going, What the hell? Where's the beds? Where's the beds? The beds were supposed to be here. And then they're not. And these villagers just don't know what to do. And, you know, I just find it mildly hilarious, you know? 
they're freaking out because they can't find a single bed. It's turning nighttime, and then all of a sudden it's magically, it's like daytime. They're like, what the hell just happened? How did it magically go from night to day? And they'll never know the truth. That it was I! Deal! That magically changed it from night to day. Is that still a meme or nah? I don't know, I've never watched JoJo. Would not know. I feel like it's just way too late to get into JoJo. I feel like it's the bubble 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 bu bu of this generation, you know? Jojo memes never go out of style because Jojo fans never left them. Pretty much. So what I'm going to do is, basically, this is going to be a two-story building. The first floor is where I'm going to have the villagers I actually trade with. The second floor is going to be where I put, like, um, the breeding villagers. Alright. A little bit more die, right? Should probably put a torch down just in case these are like dark areas. You have made regrettable life decision squids and now you die. And that triggers that squid situation there. Oh, come on, no more like just exposed diorite. I really don't want to dig for the shit. Come on. Really? That's all I get? And time to start in case the JoJo each part is largely self-contained, so you can... Yeah, I'm still not gonna watch it. Way, way, way too mainstream for me. Not to mention, I don't like anything where the whole entire show premise is supposed to be like just random nonsense happening. Which is what turned me off of like... Bo 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 back in the day. All right. There's no more exposed like um die right there. Great. Just great. Uh, I don't want to have to dig in a cave for this. Gintama is not mainstream, and Gintama is actual comedy, as well as a really good story in the background. As well as some legit action scenes every now and then. Oh, sweet. Oh, there's the Iron Golem. Akintama may be comedy, but it's comedy with a plot. That you have to really let to, you know, really need to let in already. Before uh, you have to just let it run on for too wild. And it becomes its own thing, then slowly consumes the after. Because, you know, when you get dropped and then dropped again and then dropped a third time and a fourth time and a fifth time and a sixth time, it's like, when the fuck are you going to stop? What weird fucking... Huh? What waxing are you talking about? And I'm just gonna put a torch here, and just gonna pull my way out. You, Iron Golem, you just for ever continue to monitor this cave system. 
That's your life. That's your job. On Discord. Oh, you're talking about meme chat. Yeah. Now, that was a thing, and hopefully they stopped that already. Because that was getting a tad bit uncomfortable. Just really uncomfortable. I mean, I don't for weird shit and all, but sometimes you just gotta know when to let something stop. And call it a day. Uh, do I not have... I don't have a single bit of oak wood. Uh, S. Well, if it's here. And there we go. Oh my gosh, Godspeed. Keep the dream alive. Keep the dream alive. I'm just gonna have to nerf that. I need to mark that tree. Can't believe I almost used up a diamond pickaxe. Not even enchanted. Oh, that's not gonna be enough for an entire second floor. Mark this tree as well. enough for a second floor and then I'm gonna have to like basically hmm, I'm gonna do this here because I really don't have enough iron to waste on like rails in a mine cart. Are you kidding me? Two whole trees and not enough to do a whole roof. Gosh darn it. Any more for any more? I need really close trees. Really close trees. Something really close that I don't have to travel miles for. Ooh, that one back there can work. Back there. Come with me if you want to live, Tree. Actually, well, you won't be living. You'll be chopped into pieces and then chopped into more pieces and then made into a... The block. Alright, another thing I need is a bloody cat farm to stop all these damn creepers from blowing up the damn farm. I mean, the blowing up the damn village. to do it, but I'm gonna have to go back to home base and get all the wood that I need. Oh, wait. Oh. Hold on, I got an idea. Alright, 
So I should have enough iron to make like one cart. Make like some rails. I get a villager in a cart, right? I have them sit underneath an awning of some type. Zombie comes, eat the villager's brains. Blah. You know how that goes. Ouch, broke my knees. Um, do I have any? Yes, I do. What is it? In here. Alright. Oh, my damn inventory's a mess. Uh, let me get rid of this. This, 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 and this. So this can go in here. The obsidian can go in here. This can go in here. All these beds that I really just don't need this can go in there. Let me see. Open that. Don't need to actually open that now I think about it. So I can just put these in here and fuck, I need a blaze rod. That's right. Shit. That's right. Brewing stands don't work unless you have blaze powder. Because Mojang and Infinite Wisdom thought that, that was a good idea. Oh gosh, darn it. You know, let me make more chests so I can have better organizations here. Let's go ahead, grab you. This can literally just be the best chest. Alright, take those out. Beds. Glass and bottles. Or just glass and potions. Yeah, glass and potions work. I forgot to take the wheat with me to breed the cows. Damn it. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! Why are you here? Why are you here? What is this? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Um. Shit. 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 Why are they here? Why are those assholes here? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I can't mark them yet. I can't mark them. I can't mark them. Um, shield, that shield's not gonna take much. I actually had my bucket on me. I didn't need to run into my house. Oh, fuck. I need to run. I need to run. I need to go. Quickly grab milk. There we go. Okay, I got the milk. I got the milk. All right, now I need to get away from the village. And, like, I need to mark the banner boy. You, banner boy. Okay, okay. And now, I drank the milk and boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. That was close. That was close. Did he drop anything for being an asshole? Oh yes, an ominous banner. Now it should be good. There's no more like um, bad guys that I have to worry about. Only the guy wearing the banner. There we go. Oh my gosh. I gotta murk him too. He needs to be marked. Looks like they put an animation for this. 
Okay, good. Alright. That's good. Why was there village? I mean, why is there pillagers here? Stop it right now. Oh, I lost my shield. Oh, I lost my shield. Okay, thanks for your crossbow. There's only ever three of them. Alright, alright. Oh, man, that was close. That was close. That was fucking close. Where did they even come from? Are you kidding me? There's another one here? Oh, man. I mean, it's not a raid. It doesn't say raid, so I haven't triggered... A raid. I mean, at least I got a crossbow. So there's that. You know, it's absolutely useless. At least I have one. Oh man, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, the situation has been calmed down. Luckily, the scouts were taken care of. There's no bad almond because I drunk the milk. But that could have went poorly. Definitely could have went poorly. Alright, need to close that hole in the ground. Yep. Torch right, actually. So what I can do is basically, you know what, fine, I'll have proper windows. I mean, I don't want to give them proper windows, but fine, they can have the proper windows. I'll lend some of the sunlight, not all, but some. Alright, and just need to go back and get the glass. Down the right way, damn it. I've achieved face pit, okay. So Do I want that there? I can just take that stair away. That's not really needed. Oh great. That broke. Love when things just break, you know? So I need a new axe. Diamond pick's about to break as well. Great. You villagers should be thanking me for that. I literally saved you guys from being raided, because I'm definitely in no shape to survive a raid. Like, I have unenchanted plebeian armor on. Not to mention, it's like day five. And like, there was literally one of those guys yesterday, like, um, the last time I played this. You pillaged them yourself, though. You say, what? Nah. Lies and slanders? I'll take you to court for that. I've done no such thing. Thank you very much. If you check my absolutely spotless records of protecting these villagers, you will see that your statement is quite clearly false. You literally held a poll to see if they'd be allowed for some point. <laughs> Listen, first of all, I didn't make the poll. My hand has been on the keyboard the entire time. You made that poll. So technically, I wasn't making a poll to see if they deserve fresh sunlight or not. You made that poll. 
You know, I might have asked the question, but I did not act upon the question that I asked. So I am innocent. Hmm. Wrecked. Hashtag circle logic. Oh, fuck. The light is ruining the ice. All right. No, you're not going to have to go bye bye. Oh, fuck. I forgot to remake an axe. Damn it. I'm some type of idiots. Actually, I think there's a crafting bench in here. I have some stone on me, but I can quickly grab another piece. Sun is going down. Why is the sun going down already? Damn it. Damn you, sun. Damn you to hell. Run, 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 run. And there's no point in zombifying the villagers because I can't make any potions because you need blaze powder to make potions, which I don't have blaze powder. Now, hopefully, because I put down that ominous banner, less of those creepy crawlies assholes will spawn. Because villagers can go fuck themselves, okay? You know, villagers are so pale that they should burn in sunlight, you know? Why is that not a thing? Can we have that be a thing? Going to sleep with a crossbow. This is how you go to sleep in the hood. Just have it in hand at the ready. If you trigger finger and then sleep. Alright, let me get an axe. You know, that would be wise. Get an axe. So put that away. I'm just gonna make a stone axe because I'm just doing this for like general building. No point wasting any more iron because I don't have iron to go. Like, just don't have iron to spare like that. Don't need any more glass on me, so we're good there. Uh, do I have shears? Yes, I do have shears. That didn't look like Powerade. Well, it is Powerade. I just have it in a bottle because my Powerade is warm. Because I don't always keep my parry in my refrigerator. Alright. Don't you dare question whether the substance in my bottle is a parry or not. Alright. Oh, right. This is why I got the shears. Parry is legally required to be served ice cold. Exactly. So luckily these places have wool floors, and I can take advantage of that to get some free wool, which I can use to make carpet. Because if I put the carpet down, will that stop like, um, actually I need this to go bye bye, like you guys, your profession is whatever I choose it to be. Hmm? Wait, what? When I get one, I'm naming your sword the Karen Cursor. Karen Killer. Well, I don't even have an anvil. So, can't really rename anything right now. Wait until I get an anvil, then you start doing that. Otherwise, you're just wasting those points. There's my torches. There's my torches. Yeah, but you're assuming that I am, like, willing to make a note. Alright, Ice, I'm gonna need you to completely freeze up again. Thank you. And I think if I do this, right? Now this should, in theory, protect the ice. Because, you know, carpet is an insulator, right? 
So if it keeps the heat of any lanterns that I put down away from the ice, then the ice shouldn't melt, right? Paper is bad for the environment. Exactly. Um, you're sand. I'll just have you there. All right, yeah, I forgot. Ice is still slippery even when you put carpet over it. All right, so hopefully the carpet protects the ice from melting. Notepad makes paper. You make Mother Earth angry. I mean, I think that's working. Because the carpet is still there, it haven't built, that needs to refreeze already, that'd be nice. And let's do the same on the inside. I mean, then again, you know, if Minecraft was realistic, this would be a house fire here, but it's not. Alright, so now that that's done, I need to get the villagers actually in here, and actually I need to grab one of those blocks, so I think, who should we do first? And armor would be nice. Who makes armor? Is it the smithing table that makes armor? Because I know, it, yeah, I think it's the smithing table that makes armor, so let me go ahead and grab the smithing table. Then we grab a villager, we put them in there, we put the smithing table to block their exit to keep them from leaving. And the bed is not needed. Now she ruined Kiddo's big brain moment. How dare you! Alright, so which one of y'all wants to randomly lose your profession? You! You are doing absolutely nothing with your life. Would you like to have a purpose in your existence? Yes? Do you see that boat there? Yes? Do you mind getting your ass in that boat? Get in the damn boat? Hey, f what the fuck? Alright, you, we're gonna try this again. Get your ass in that fucking boat. There we go. Do not piss me off. Alright. Row, row, row your boat gently on the land. Merrily, 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 merrily. This makes no goddamn sense, but who gives a damn? It's just Minecraft. So row, row, row your boat gently on the land. Oh fuck, I can't get past carpet. What the hell is this bullshit? Because it's not. Oops, shit. Okay, um, I think the snow empties yeah. him in traffic. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, slight of a, f hmm, slight problem, slight problem, but it's fine. Okay, simple problems require a simple solution. For fuck's sake. Okay, okay. Let's calm down, all right? Let's calm down, calm down, calm down. You know, dog is pitched, yes, that's true. Alright, and, okay, uh, boats, note to self, do not go up that. Alright, hmm. I love how the guy's head is just spinning. He is, like, absolutely confused about what the fuck is going on right now. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. But it's fine, okay? Um, how does this work? He's shaking his head no. Listen, I don't give a damn, okay? How'd I get you in there? Could I do this? 
Like, that's gonna spread everywhere, and that's fine. That's gonna cause a little bit of a mess. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does boat flow up? Boat does not flow up. It doesn't float up. Shit. Put that back there. Um... Alright guys, uh, how do I get him to follow? Will he naturally just go in? Uh, do you wanna- <gasps> Oh, I know what to do. If I put a block in its work time- Oh my gosh! Uh, yes. Yes, in fact. Yes! Aha. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, there we go. Alright, so now- Destroyed that and put this there. <gasps> no, 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 get back! No! <sighs> Damn it. Is he gonna go back in there? Can you go back in of your own volition, please? Damn it, there's no way to lead them. Where'd he go? He's over here. No, I need you back in here. Are you coming back of your own natural volition? Will you go in here? Come on, come on. It's Oh, it's starting nighttime. If I had a bed, if I had a bed, there's no more beds. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to use the bed strap. Damn it. Giving meaning to their life. <laughs> hey. There ain't no two ways about it. Alright, damn it. To hell. Oh, shit. Alright, let me sleep before this village gets overrated. Ah, damn it. You know, the minecarts would be tremendously easier. Hmm. It's like, it costs metal that I don't want to spend. But it'll be much easier. Damn it all the hell. Right, I do that. Actually, no. I think it's like this. Damn it. How does one make a rail? What the hell you mean I don't know how to make a rail? Okay, Minecraft is drunk. Oh, look, a rail. How the hell that... I get the recipe for a rail after I make a rail. The logic of Minecraft is amazing sometimes. Alright. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to lead them over there using the boats again. And then I'm going to use the minecarts. To get them in their little hole. Once I got them in the hole, I gotta block off their escape to make sure they can't get out. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, villagers. Who would like to have meaning to their lives? You! Willing volunteer! Slash unwilling, slash I don't give a damn. Get in the fucking boat. Okay, get in my boat! No, that's not my boat. Alright, listen, you. Listen, okay? You're not gonna be one of the villagers I use for breeding purposes, okay? You're just gonna work. Day in, day out. You're never gonna get any sleep whatsoever because I'm not gonna put down a fucking bed. I'm just gonna come to you and demand shit and you're just gonna hand it over whether you want to or not and you don't get a choice in the damn matter. And if you dare complain, well, I don't give a fuck, okay? Because the amount of fucks I have to give to for you damn villagers is not existence. Do you understand me? Listen, you can turn your head all 360 horror movie stuff. I don't give a flying 
fuck, mate. Okay, I don't give a flying fuck. Now, you're gonna get out the boat. You're gonna go instantly to my minecart. Go to the minecart. Don't piss me off. Oh, you're doing this to spite me. You're doing this to spite me right now, aren't you? No. No. That's not how this works. Actually, if I was smarter, what I would do is put, like, a little bridge so that I can easily get people to go. But I'm not that smart. Wait, what? No, don't crush my intelligence. Go in there. All right, there we go. And now, then. There we go. I got you in. All right, so now, then, you... You're gonna be villager number one. Aren't you happy? It's a glorious day! It's glorious! Yes. Yes. AK, you don't have a choice in a matter. You don't have a choice. And that's fine with me. That's absolutely fine with me. I'm okay with you not having a choice. Because you don't need a choice. What you need to be is a good little villager and stay inside of your cage. Hold on. And no, I'm not going insane, people. Gosh darn it. I'm absolutely fine. Alright? There we go. So I'm just going to put this here. To put that there. This goes here. And then I grab the smithing table. I got to put the smithing table here. Alright. And now... There we go. Yes. Yes! And you're a toolsmith. Ah. Fuck! I don't need a toolsmith. I need an armor, which I think might be the blast furnace. Well, this is your life. And you will stay here for the rest of eternity. Yes. Alright. So that's one down. That's one down, many to go. Alright. So let me go ahead, grab some Billings Imperial. Alright. So now then. Playing hard to get. Wow. These clips. These quality clips here. Oh my gosh. Alright, so now I got that guy up. I just need to get a few more, okay? So I think the next one I'm gonna need is probably a farmer, just so I have like a cheap way of getting some um, emeralds on the cheap. Because if I find a farmer that accepts potatoes, then I'm in the money. Okay, because the one thing I have plenty of here is potatoes. There we go. Alright, you! Hey! How you doing? What's up? I heard that you are a farmer. Now, I don't care what your current trades are, because your current trades don't matter. What does matter is you getting in my boat. Yeah, that's it. You're gonna get in that boat. You're gonna love it. What's this boat's gonna take you? It's gonna take you somewhere magical. Okay. Alright. And... Just sailing my boat across the dirt. This doesn't make sense as this wood would literally be ripping apart from the sheer amount of friction of rubbing wood against the dirt, even if it was sub glaze, and these paddles should be broken. But we're not gonna question the logic. What's up, mate? Hey! I got you a friend! Aren't you happy? You're not gonna spend all of eternity alone. You have a nice friend here. What's his name? Um. His name doesn't matter. All you need to know is he's a friend, not food.
and the both of you are gonna stay in that house. You're never gonna get any sleep because there's no beds. You'll never see any of your wives or kids again. Well, there's always no kids in the village, so you never had any kids. And guess what? Just like me, you'll never have a chance to have kids. Because you're just stuck in this house for all eternity. What is up, Luca? Hello and welcome to stream. Oh shit, not what I meant to do. Okay, what I need to do is put that in my offhand. Break this and quickly get ready. There we go. Now then, do you accept potatoes? Yes, he does. Now I just have to lock his trades. Uh, thank you for that shout out. Now I just have to go and lock his trades in with potatoes. I have potatoes. I can lock his trades. If I don't lock their trades now, there's a chance they'll lose that trade. I mean, 26 potatoes for an emerald is a bit uh, pricey. But it is what it is. Alright, now then, let's go. The Royal Toolsmith. What do you mean by the Royal Toolsmith? Um, I feel like context is needed for that one there. Oh shit, I don't have 26 potatoes. I don't have 26... Oh, wait, I know where I go. Haha, <laughs> for things I can't legally grow on the surface. Alright, I really need to put fortune on a hoe, because if I use fortune on a hoe and hold these crops with it, I'll get more potatoes. Yeah, right here sounds good. Also, I need to kill more zombies to increase my chances of getting, like, carrots. Or just find a village that naturally has carrots. Because I would love to have carrots, you know. Golden carrots is the best source of food, after all. Or I can just upgrade the farmer villager. Yeah, wait. I can just upgrade the farmer villager to the point where he drops carrots. Where do the seeds go? Okay. And yeah. Beats can go up this far. Yeah. Alright, never mind. Because I don't need to have carrots. I just need to have... Where's my seeds? I picked up all that wheat and all I got was two seeds from it. Alright. There we go. In fact, I don't need this here. So just go ahead and cap it there. Kappa. Cap that there. Put the seeds in there. Oh, it's turning night time. Uh, you know what? No one needs poison potatoes. They don't have a use. They are fucking useless. They just exist to take up, like, I don't know, space? But it's like, you can't make a potion of poison with it. Like, you can't make a potion of poison with it. You can't do anything with it. Except poison yourself. I mean, at least with, like, rotten flesh, you can feed it to wolves to heal them. Not sure why feeding a dog rotten flesh heals the dog, but... I mean, it's a purpose, you know? It gives it some point to existence. Alright, have all you cows fucked? Oh god. Oh god. No, not like this. I can't get out. I can't get out. Alright. I needed leather! Alright. Two of you cows escaped. Oh. Alright, oh, yeah, that's why you should use an axe when you're slaughtering cows. Alright. So, somebody I might have gotten a swift axe. Are you kidding me? Only two leather. That ripoff. That ripoff, though. Only two leather. Like, damn, when you don't have looting on a sword, the game be jipping you.
like the game be chipping you when you don't have like two leather. I mean, you don't have looting on that sword. One, two, three. Now, there we go. Alright, so I now have an anvil. Yay! I'll put the anvil here. Alright. No, it's okay. Although, Godspeed, though, to watch a stream on mobile, you must be a masochist. Twitch on mobile is not that good. Not that good. Alright. So, I have the potatoes. Now, he might have changed his tray, which is going to be a bit annoying, because that means I'm going to have to pick that, I mean, I'm gonna have to pick up the composter and put it back down until he gets that potato tray again. Yo, you haven't changed your tray. You still want potatoes, right? with me. No, 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 no! Where's my boat? Did I not pick up my boat? I forgot to pick up my boat, and the villager left. He fucked off for freedom. Are you fucking with me right now? What is up, Slot the Bird? Oh, I'll get him back, okay? He can't escape my wrath. You escape me. You think you can escape, but no, you can't escape. Because I have something that you want. Potatoes. You want this? You cannot lead them with potatoes like a dog. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. You had dinner, but a gift came in. Uh... You had a gift? Is it your birthday? If it's your birthday, happy birthday, Flock. A polka record from 1946. Oh, boy. Get in the damn minecart! Don't push it! Why aren't you getting in the minecart? Nope, stop it. Stop it. Are you going back? Is that what you're doing right now? Oh, shit. Did he find the one place where he's safe from my pushing? Oh, no. Are you trying to go back? If I lift this up, where would you go? Are you going back? Are you going back into your cage like a good boy? No, no. Don't you dare link onto that. No, you stop it right now, okay? You stop it right... Oh, you fucking with me! Stop fucking with me! not gonna work. Where'd you go? Why are you up here? What is your passing logic? If I throw that down there, will you run towards it? You know what? Get far enough from this village. Get far enough from this fucking village. Alright? Come on. Come on. Keep running away from the village. Come on. Oh, what? You don't want to run away? Do you want to go where I tell you to go? Do you see that potato? Okay. Do you see that potato? Alright. Do you see that potato? Oh, oh my gosh. You know what? Okay. No one told you to 
leave the fucking village. No one told you to leave your cage. What? Okay, it was his own damn fault. If he would have stayed in my cage like I told him to, he would have still been alive. But no, he's like, I want freedom. I want oh, to get out of here. Did I just break my diamond pickaxe on... He's like, I want freedom. And a way out, and this, then the third's like, there is no fucking freedom, okay? If I tell you to get into the damn cage, you get into that damn cage and you like it. But that's okay. We all make mistakes. It just means that the next one isn't going to make the same mistake. Da -da -da -da. Here's Johnny. Now then, that should be cool. Like, no one saw the murder, so no one know that I murked that guy. So no one should overreact to it. So it should all be good. And... Just need to make another boat, because I'm not sure where my boat went from last time, and find another villager. Which... Where are the villagers? Oh, there you are. Hey, my man! What you doing? What you doing? Yeah, that's it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hmm. Slight problem. You're in a really bad location. You know, because this is ground level here, and I need to be a little bit up. That's fine. Read them. Oops, shit. No. Oh, shit. He's gonna be mad about that one. Alright, so... You? Just gonna need you. <laughs> nice. 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 Okay. Uh, why am I trapped? Oh, shit. Okay, we have a slight problem. I'm trapped in here with you. And that's a problem for me. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that away real quick. No, it's fine, it's fine. All I need to do is that. And in fact, what I can do... Is, why didn't I think about this before? Right? So if I just go and do this, right? There's nothing wrong with having lights. If I want a trap, all I gotta do is this. Boom. Trapped. Can't get out. Boom. You're now trapped. Can't get out. So now, I can take that, get my boat back. You can't leave. And what are your trades? Oh come on! I even hit you that hard. Well, I'm gonna have to destroy every composter in the village until that guy decides to go towards the one I put in front of him. Well, that's fine. So I am noticing a lack of villagers. So I might have to force those two to breed. And just put, like, a child villager in, like, a boat. Leave them in that boat until it grows up. Violence and violence, say. Hey. It wasn't that brutal. It was not that brutal. Almost slid off the bed. Almost. Music, but... I'm sorry, I think it's time to breed the cows again. Hey, cows! Guess what time it is. Yeah, you're already forgotten about the massacre that happened just 
a day ago, didn't ya? Yeah, you all see this weed and you're all fucking horny. I want that shit, don't ya? You want that shit? You can't help it. There we go. Alright, if I can leave that pen, there's no point in massacring the cows. So they can enjoy that shit, but now I have to destroy, like, every composter in this village. So my villager relinks to my composter. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. One more villager. My man. What's up? You are going to come on a journey with me. It'll be a fun journey. It will be a fun journey. Yeah, you see that boat, right? You see that? Oh my gosh, can we please put leads on villagers? Okay, is there a data pack that makes it so you can put leads on villagers? Because if there is, I need that damn data pack. Like yesterday. Say what? I have done nothing wrong. What's going on here? Oh, I'm being stopped by the snow that is bigger than a... Okay, weird flex, but okay. Alright. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah, that's the problem with, um... This stuff. Right, because Grass Path is technically less than one block in height. All right. Oh, good. You're walking towards that because you see a block. But guess what? It's gone now. Yeah, no. What happened to it? It was here, but then it wasn't here. Oh, wait. It's here. Oh, wait. It's gone. What happened? Oh, wait. I see. It's over here, man. It's over here. Oh, shit. What? Oh, and it's gone? What the fuck? Oh, man, where's it going? Oh, it's over here, man. Look, look, it's over here. Yeah, I know, this is really confu- Oh, my gosh, and it's gone again. Oh, wait, look, it's over here, man. I promise, it's right here. It's right here. It Got him. <laughs> oh, juked him. Oh, did not see those power 9,000 plays there. I juked him in the wrong area. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, nope. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, shit. What? Nah. Now, hopefully I destroyed, like, every single composter in the village, and now that villager has the royal farmer. Yes. Hey, guys, I got you a friend. Now, here's the thing. I'm having troubles fighting, like, villagers. Alright, you're still mad about that, okay? Are you serious? Like, you're mad about that? Alright, come on. Can you get over it, please? You know, it was like one little punch. It was like barely even a punch. It was more like a love tap. Alright, you. Shit. Well, you know, I actually need a pickaxe, so, you know, that's fine for me. I'm gonna get the blast furnace. Blast furnace. You just roll an enemy that dies while acting tough, so the main hero can save. Damn! What the hell, flock? Like God, damn! What did I do to deserve that? What did I do to deserve that? Also, is there any more villagers? Because that's one thing I'm noticing is the lack of villagers here. The villain that tries to ride grandma but gets beat up. Damn. Flock is mad at me. Like, I did something wrong to the guy. And he is just mad at me. There you go. So I put that there. He is just mad at me. 
You spoilers. What do you mean spoilers? What spoilers? So I'm gonna go ahead and get the grindstone for you, man. You don't get too attached to anyone. 200 points. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the grindstone. Turn that guy into like a weapon smith. Wait, why was there wood here? Anyone knows why there's wood here? Oh, this had to spawn naturally during the train. Oh, it probably was a bridge at one point. Or try to be a bridge. Okay. Weird world, Jin, but okay. And yes, I do realize I'm using a pickaxe to mine, like, fucking dirt and whatnot. But it's like, at the end of the day, you know, I have a shit ton of them, so I don't care. I shall defeat you in Wookiee Races for a showdown of... Oh, that's right, you just started watching uh, Comedy God Kill, and you're probably pissed off at me because I said don't get attached to anyone. oldest trick. Boom. So, fun fact, if you just put a carpet down, nothing can get past the carpet. Yes, nothing, really. Alright, so this guy, just gonna have to do this, and take that out, do this, put that there, take this out. I mean, one thing is Definitely not gonna happen. There's something spawning in here. Alright. Need that back. Thank you. Now, you shouldn't be able to escape. Hopefully, that lantern stops you. Yes, it does. So now I can go ahead and. Oh my gosh, I don't need all these pickaxes, okay? Yeah, one is nice and all, but I think I have a little bit too many. Alright, so let me go ahead and get... So if I want an armor, it's going to be a blast furnace. If I want a tool smith, it's going to be a grindstone. So I'll go ahead and grab the blast furnace, or do I make one for him? I'll make a blast furnace for the guy. Alright, so I have a farmer. Now, what's going to be annoying is getting them to breed, though. <sighs> That's going to be annoying. Why am I looking in this chest? I don't know. So, do I have any smooth stones on me? Oh, I do. Some of you I'm gonna need you to smelt a bit more. So let me grab this. Smelt this up. Let me clean my inventory a little bit. Cause it's like a fucking mess right now. So much shit. There's so much shit. Pumpkin can go in here. All this technically a mob drop, so I'll put it in there. I can go there. 
Don't need this on me right now. This on me, need this. Um, definitely need a transportation test. Oh gosh, darn it. Honestly, like I've seen the trailer for the New Mutants, I have no clue why they're making it seem like a horror series. It seems very strange to do that with like the X-Men's, but... I mean, at this point here, it's like all Disney's property. They're all combined under the same studio, so now they can just do whatever the hell they like with it? It's just a weird choice. Eat, 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 eat. Oh, this can go in there. Alright. So, do you need this grindstone? Gonna need a few beds. And oh, I know how to keep them from escaping. So there it is. I need a couple of these. All right, this should be enough smooth stone. Or is it regular stone? I think it's smooth stone. And then I need iron. And with that, I should now have everything I need for a blast furnace. Yep. There we go. It's a blast furnace acquiring. Uh, what the hell do I need for a grindstone, actually, now I think about it? right there for now. It's me. So now then, let me see, there's a blast furnace, you should now change into an armor, yes! Good, have you calmed down, are you, you're still pissy about the punch, really, really. He's still pissy about being punched, like get over it man, gosh. It's like, never! Okay, it was a damn accident. He's like, no, I'm gonna continue to be pissy about that punch. It hurt. It really hurt. It's like, gosh, darn it. Alright. There we go. So now, for the time being... Oh shit, I need an extra bed. Hold on, need to go back, need another bed. All right. 
more bed. And um, why I'm hearing zombies. I should not be hearing zombies. And do I have any more potatoes to trade? Well, actually, no. I need to save my potatoes. Yep, multiples. Good. The one with like the crazy high stocks are the one that are ready to be plucked. There we go. Apparently there's now zombies underneath my farm. That's just great. I love when I set up shop and it's fucking haunted. You know, every time I set up shop, it's always haunted by something, you know? Note to self. Make power rail system to villager trading outposts when I get enough materials because this running back and forth is getting annoying. Alright. Gotta fix that at some point. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do to keep those little tight villagers from leaving. Do that. And now, will these two breed through like a wall? Can I just do this, right? Do that. Now I know that villagers will only breed during business hours, so I have to do this quickly. But hold on. Can I get away with this, right? So I'm just gonna take this, put one there. Temporarily get rid of this. Get rid of this. Right. So he should try to walk out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, that's fine. Now I need to move this over here. Now then, if I can remember to press the right button to get out. Now you. Need you out as well. Now then. Uh, fine. Okay. Now, okay, if they both go in a boat like that, right? And I just go ahead, put down some beds, right? So I go ahead, put one bed there, another bed there, and another bed there, right? Can I make them breed without taking them out the boat, right? So if I just do this, right? Okay. Just make it rain on you fuckers. Alright, that's all my damn potatoes. Now, will y'all breed in a boat? Or do they have to be out of the boat to breed? Right. There, let me get rid of the boat. Okay, yeah, I can't breed in a boat. What I can do is if they do breed, just put boats everywhere, like litter this area with boats, right? Just litter it with boats. So when they have a child... Did they get mad? No, no, there! Baby villager! Yes! Okay. Not what I was planning, but that works, alright? Actually... Oh, no, I need the farmer out because I gave the farmer a job. So now, I can just take the baby villager. Baby villager can just go into one of these cages, right? So I can just put it over there. And just leave it be until it grows up. So that baby can just stay trapped into that boat until it's an adult, and then once it's an adult, I can let it out the boat. But these two, I keep in the boat so that I can use them for breeding purposes. But actually, no, I need the farmer for... 
Yeah, that's the problem. I actually need that farmer to get out the boat. Hmm. Because... Oh no, I can trade with the farmer while he's in that. In fact, if I just do this, the farmer should still be able to, like, um, restock. So yeah, I can just leave him like that, it's fine. Yeah, so I leave them like that. Wait for my potatoes to grow, come back the next day. Breed them again. They make another baby villagers. I just leave the baby villager in this um, boat. Yeah, it works. It works. Actually, an excellent source of free potatoes. There we go. Strats right there, okay? Those are strats. And luckily, nothing in Minecraft actually has to sleep, except for the players, because when you think about it, right? Even the phantoms spawn when you don't get enough sleep. So that means all the monsters have to be in Steve's head. Fucking strats, people. <laughs> Alright. So, now then, um, do I have any weeds? Alright, so let me go ahead, breed the cows, pick up the rest of the potatoes, wind down the stream because it's 9pm, holy shit. And figure out who we raiding. So guys, who are we raiding? Please mention their name now, since it is the last 10 minutes of the stream, or just use the channel points if you want to suggest who we rate. Other than that, there's this wind down time where I just go ahead, I really have to fix these holes in like the bloody ice field, you know. At the same time, I'm, like super lazy and kind of don't want to do it. Oh shit, left potatoes here. Actually, here's another strat. Boom. And there should be one more shitty ass farm somewhere around here. Oh my gosh, this place is a death trap. Lithy says it's a death trap, then falls. Alright. Honey, I'm home. Alright, so you guys should be good for breeding again. So, just same strat as before. I mean... Uh, no, this is gonna bother me. The royal breeders. I mean, they're not staying like... They're not staying like that. I just need them to pop out children's. So that way I have more villagers, okay? And gotta need another boat to catch the offsprings. Alright. So I'm gonna need you out of this boat. You're like, Yo, what the hell? It's fine, it's fine. Now how many potatoes do I take? I think there's 22 potatoes you need in order to breed. Come on, come on, pick them up. Come on, pick them up and breed. Pick them up and breed. Is that enough? Do you want potatoes as well? Come on. Courtship. How many fucking potatoes does it take for villagers to fuck? Just please fuck already. That has to be over 30 potatoes right there. There we go. Come on. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, they might not because there's only three beds. No, they might because... Yay! Yay! Hey, kid! Hey, kid! Hey, kid! Hey, kid! Oh, right. Um, let me put that down. Oh, shit. No! 
That's what I didn't want. I need you on separate boats, like, right now. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, you stupid kids. Alright, I need to catch one of these bastards in a boat. No! Oh my gosh. Kids are annoying. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Can one of you stupid kids... No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, come on. There we go. Got one. Got one. All right, you are trapped. Oh god, I'm in a wall. I'm in a wall, suffocating. Why I'm in a wall? Why I'm in a wall? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Break the wall! Break the wall! <gasps> no! No! Why can't I escape? Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, is that done? Are we done? Are we not in wall? Why am I in wall? Why am I in wall? Why am I in a wall? Oh god! Why that glitch me through a wall? Nearly dying because Minecraft chooses to glitch you into a wall. Alright. Alright, are you done with your bullshit? No, you're still at like high prices. And now I have to figure out how to get that. How am I gonna get this one in? You know, it should naturally want to go to where there are kids and babies. So you should climb the stairs. Do you see a fucking bed anywhere? Okay. Where's the bed? Okay. You want to go to where the bed is at, right? There we go. Fucking get dunked on, kid. Okay, get dunked on. All right? What? You got fucking own, mate. And now that I have these two, I can go and finally put these two back in a cage. Alright, so I just need to close that so no one could tell. Destroy that. Well, that's actually fine with me. Actually, that works super fine for me. So you are here, right? And why can't I place this down? There we go. And then you, you know, it's fine, okay? Shit may have happened. I might have almost suffocated in a wall because fucking hell Minecraft. But it's absolutely fine. Alright, so now I just wait for the wee ones to grow up. Alright, you know what I could do? I can take the two Wii ones, put them in a separate location, and just straight up just use them for breeders. You two, y'all shall be breeders. Your entire life will be nothing but having kids over and over and over and over again. Even though you literally have the exact same parents, it doesn't matter. He will breed endlessly. Alright, so you, are you still mad about that punch? Oh, come on! I gave you the shit you needed to breed and you had the sex and you fucked and you had like two kids and you're still mad about one single punch? Use an ass. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that. Alright. Actually, yeah, no. All right. And now,
I'm just gonna do this instead. I do need to get up to the roof of this damn thing, so... Hold on. Put that there. Yeah, sure, whatever. Don't even care. There's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just putting on the torches here so nothing spawns on this roof here. Kids. <laughs> What the fuck are these clips? Damn it. Why are you trying to incriminate me? How can this happen to me? Okay. I survived nearly being crushed alive and you're like just trying to make incriminating evidence against me. Like I don't appreciate this. Should also stop things from like sliding through. And I could just do this as well. You know what? Just do this. Boom. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Alright, good. Oh, reflection of America. Damn. Alright, put that there. Alright, guys, so who are we rating? Because otherwise, I'll just go with Alan Infinity, unless you guys got someone else to mention. If you are active in chat right now, mention who you want to raid. If not, I think this is the time where I just go ahead and do the outro. Guys, if you like this type of content, please be sure to tune in tomorrow from 7pm to 9pm Eastern Standard Time, or 1900 to 2100 hours, for those who live in an area without a 12-hour time format, where I will be streaming some more Minecraft. If you'd like to catch up on anything that you missed, you can always just head over to my YouTube at youtube.com forward slash cliffbeastthebest, because you know I am. If you're watching this live, you can just use exclamation mark YouTube to get that link. If you'd like to join the Discord for After Hours Shenanigans, you can use exclamation mark Discord to get that link. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and wind down the stream, rate Island Infinity Live, break my effing knees by jumping down the stairs like a damn dumbass. And if you're happy to be watching a VOD, well, this is where I just go and say, Bye, Internet. <laughs>